Hello, I'm Dr. Alex Ray Grant, a staff neurologist at the Cleveland Clinic, and I work at the Mellon Center for Multiple Sclerosis there. I'm here having a conversation with one of our patients about topics in multiple sclerosis. Uh, do you have any questions for me? Actually, I do. Um, I'm interested in having children someday. What are the, um, what is there about MS and pregnancy that I should know? Okay, well that's a really important topic and a great one for us to discuss. First of all, having a baby is obviously a personal decision between the parents and they really decide what they want to do and we encourage people to do their own family planning. You know, the nice thing is having a baby does not change the overall course of the multiple sclerosis one way or the other. So that year of the pregnancy doesn't change what's going on with the disease. We don't have to worry about that. We know that during pregnancy women tend to feel better, often have fewer relapses of MS, then afterwards in the first six months they tend to have more relapses. So that kind of averages out. We do ask women with MS who are on medicines for their condition to stop that medicine and it depends on the medicine as to when the time to stop it, but to stop it before conception. Uh, not that they're a major risk, but each one has a certain amount of risk in pregnancy. For example, uh, glutaramoracetate is category B in pregnancy, which means there doesn't seem to be any major safety problems. Most of the other medicines are category C, which is that there may be some concern for safety. And one medicine called teraflutamide is category X, which says there has been some safety evidence in uh, animal models. So we do want women to stop before they become uh, pregnant. We also want them to take prenatal vitamins as early as possible. The hope with prenatal vitamins is to prevent birth defects in the child. So we do encourage them to start those very early. Is pregnancy, um, when you have MS, is pregnancy considered to be high risk? Are there any complications during delivery that I should be aware of? So actually, it really is not a high risk situation. It should be treated like any other pregnancy. That's how the obstetrician should approach it. So the conduct of pregnancy, the amount of monitoring and ultrasound, that all should be standard. Uh, we know that women can have a cesarean section if they need it. They can have an epidural if they need it. There's no extra risk for that. But if they can have a normal delivery, they should do that. And really, obstetricians don't need to do things differently than they would otherwise do. Um, we know that there's no problem with the anesthesia, people worry about that, but the epidural anesthesia seems to be safe in pregnancy. It turns out we can give women steroids during pregnancy if we need to for a relapse, and uh, we try to avoid that in the first trimester, but we're certainly able to do that. We know there's a lot of changes in the hormones that affect women in pregnancy and affect the course of the MS, but so far we don't have any treatments that are related to the hormones that change during pregnancy. And is there any risk for um, my children in the future that they may have MS? Is that something I should think about? So I'm glad you asked that. Sometimes people are worried about asking that question. But in fact, the risk for children of women with MS is relatively low. There's about a 97% chance they won't have multiple sclerosis in their life. It is a higher risk than general population, but if you think about it that way, it's a relatively low risk. The only other thing to tell you about this is after uh, delivery, if women want to breastfeed, we encourage them to breastfeed as their only choice. When they're done with breastfeeding, then we like them to start back on a, one of the medicines. Otherwise, we'd like them to get started on medicine as soon as they can after delivery. Thanks for your attention. We appreciate your joining us for this program. If you have any more questions you need answered, please check our website, which you'll see below.